The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Carson Newman wraps up a sweep against the Limestone Saints with Coach Tom Griffin and Michael Washington for the Eagles Sports Network. Coach, we talked about it entering this weekend. There's a little bit of pressure on your team's shoulders uh, playing a team that hadn't won a road game in, in over a year and needing to get back to 500. But as we've seen this weekend and as we've seen the last few weeks, I'm some solid club, a team that's much better than what their record would indicate. They gave you everything that you could handle at the end. Uh, what can you yeah. say about your team's overall performance in this series? Uh, it was good. I mean, anytime you, you win a series, that's that's kind of the goal. And um, so we were able to do that. Fortunately, in the last game, be able to get the sweep because they did a phenomenal job of, of hanging around and the relief did a good job keeping them in the game. And, um, you know, uh, they had some runners in scoring position there. And so now you got to see how your club responds. So when, when they tied it up, big three-run homer, you could sense, oh, oh, here we go. And, you know, as coach, you were like, man, we got to – they just got to let it go. It's next pitch, right? But you could feel almost everything got quiet. Like, oh, is this the moment? And so you got to have someone. We talked about this. Someone's got to step up and be the guy. And I thought it was Noah Pridmore mm -hmm. coming in relief and then throwing up zeros right there against guys that were hot, were hitting it well. He was able to strand some runners, make some big, big pitches. Spencer Bright was tremendous in game two back there. Um, you know, the, the caught stealing was huge. Um, the calling of the game, blocks, handling some pitches. He was solid back there as well. So those guys kind of kept us in it. And then obviously Henry Jackson's home run was, uh, it was awesome. Because I don't think we've had a walk-off home run. If I try to remember, Craig, I think it was like 2014. I, I just could... told you like three minutes ago. Well, I remembered it. Joe Tipton did yeah. it. Uh, so, but yeah, it was exciting to end that way. I, you know, in, the, in a year, you want to have some moments to remember. They, those guys will certainly remember those moments. And it's a day on Senior Day where yeah. 20 seniors get an opportunity to be to be honored here at the ballpark. Yeah. A lot of those players get a chance to play. What's yeah. it mean to you as a coach? We talked about moments, first hits, yeah. stuff like that. What's it mean to you yeah. as a coach to to see your team perform like this, have such an emotional celebratory yeah. victory yeah. with those guys uh, playing one of their final games here? You, you, can't, you can't draw it up any better. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is uh, kind of – a neat way to go about having a senior day. And we had all the seniors here in the dugout and for them to be able to celebrate something like that. Again, that's not, that's something they're never going to forget. And, uh, you know, I, again, I want to, you know, Limestone, I thought did a really good job this week and I thought they play really well. They're well coached. There's no question about it. They do it the right way. Uh, it, it, they're going to be good because of the leadership they have. And, uh, um, they're going to be a force. There's no question about it. And again, it's just a change of culture and some things uh, that take some time. But you know, for the guys that are leaving here, you know, we talked about it earlier. It, it, the stuff on the field, the people see. But what's most important is what people don't see and what they do off the field. And you know, first and foremost, I think about their faith and their Christianity and how they try to live uh, um, by using the Bible as their their playbook. And I think our guys do a great job of that and talking about their testimony and their walk. And we're for Fortunate to be at a university that promotes that I and mean, that's who we are and these guys get to be able to do that I think is so important and you know we talk about our pillars and, and who we stand for in the classroom off the field the type of people they are the character they have uh, the servant hearts they have that is more important even the guys that aren't you know the seniors that graduate they didn't get any playing time mm -hmm. those guys represent the program in a more important way. They come here every day. They push these guys. They push them in the weight room. When we're in squadron, they got to help compete to make them be able to compete in games. They do so many things nobody sees, but it's invaluable for us as an organization that everyone buys in to be your best, do what's right, and treat others the way you want to be treated. And um, I'm very fortunate, grateful, and thankful for the staff that we have, the university, and for the guys that we have, the seniors, and the leadership they, they had on the field and off the field. Extremely Extremely blessed. You get a couple days off to enjoy this one before Shorter comes to town to wrap up this home stand. Uh, you, you lost to them a couple weeks ago in a, in a tight ball game that yeah. you you had a good lead for a good chunk of that one before they were able to come back and, and take that victory. What's it going to take for your team to complete this home stand on a strong note as you've had for these uh, first five games of this well, home stand? I like the way things are going defensively. I, I like what's going on with uh, some of the pitchers that we're seeing some guys elevate their game. Uh, offensively, we're getting different guys in the lineup to hit. That's what you want going down the stretch, and it is the month of April, as we reminded you. You reminded me, April we're good in. 
we got a couple things that still have to be worked on. The bullpen, uh, you know, I think Hunter and, and Jake, we've got to get some things figured out, get that confidence back. They're extremely talented pitchers. Um, Jake Wright, you know, he, he's completely forgotten what he just did. That's the mindset he has, and he'll be fine. But there's some things you probably got to work on in the bullpen and try to get their mind right to get them to do what they're capable of doing. I think once that happens, we've seen some guys in the pen actually – elevate a little bit to help us um, give us more depth which man if you can have some depth in that bullpen that is tremendous down the stretch and if you get into that tournament that that's the make or break is having that good bullpen so I think our guys at a good place we're pretty much healthy right now um, it's it's a good way to kind of go in the last three weeks so uh, we're, we're, we're looking forward to it coach thanks for the time enjoy this one and we'll talk to you on Tuesday thank you enjoy the games tonight I uh, will he's Carson Newman coach Tom Griffin I'm Michael Watchring for the Eagle Sports Network